Okay, how long should your long runs be and at what pace? I got this great question in the comments from Honza. I have a question about my long runs. I have two possibilities. Run 90 minutes at a pace of around 5.30 per kilometer. It's really easy for me, but at the end, I'm a little tired because it's quite long for me. But I think that it's too slow. It feels unnatural. Second option is to run 70 minutes at a faster pace of about five minutes per kilometer, which is comfortable for me and also quite easy, but to run 90 minutes at this pace will be too much. It is of course possible, but the recovery will take longer. This pace fits me better because it's a more natural pace than 5.30 per kilometer, where I have to hold myself back. I don't have any particular goals, but my distances are, let's say, five to 10 kilometers. But no goals doesn't mean that I don't run regularly, I run every other day. My race pace for 5K is somewhere between four minutes and 4.10 on the flat. Thank you. So the key points that I'm looking at here is for him a super slow long run, what I would call long slow distance, his pace is about 5.30 per kilometer and he can do that for 90 minutes, but it doesn't feel natural. Come back to that in a second. The second run, the 70 minute run, he can go 10% faster or even more for five minutes per kilometer for 70 minutes. And he thinks that he could potentially push for 90 minutes, but the recovery would be too long. That's interesting. He doesn't have any particular goals, which is interesting because I always like to put the goal and then work back from the goal and then implement the different training sessions, the different long runs, the different specific long runs. But his distances are between five and 10 kilometers. And his 5K pace is four minutes to four minutes 10. So 20 minutes or 20 minutes 50 on the flat, which is interesting. So there's three very different paces there, which is great. 5K in 20 minutes or 20 minutes 50 for four to four 10 per kilometer. That 70 minute run, he can hold comfortably five minutes and even push that to 90 minutes, but he would take too much recovery. And then the 530, which essentially is his long, slow distance pace, but he feels like that's holding him back or he's having to hold himself back for that pace. That's exactly how it should feel to go long, slow distance and to build that base of endurance. What we're looking at really when we're looking at distance running and becoming more efficient at the different paces and becoming more efficient at running our goal, whether that's 5K, 10K marathon or ultra marathon, we're trying to build the surface area of the triangle. And if you think about it like that, it becomes very, very simple to look at the different training sessions or the different runs within the week. That 90 minute run for him will be building the base of the triangle. So the longer the base, the longer you're spending in zone one, zone two, really comfortable pace is building the base of the triangle. When he does the top end stuff, the 5K stuff, and even faster, that's building the height of the triangle. So it's building, let's say, the VO2 max side of, his, of the triangle. And if you look at that as the whole triangle, which you know the all-in triangle comes from, that's what we're trying to achieve. As you do more of those 90 minute runs and you feel like you're holding yourself back, what's gonna happen is naturally, you'll become more efficient at working over the ground at that slower pace. And that's not gonna make you into a slower runner if you're doing the other training. But what it will do is make you move forward faster for the same effort. So instead of it feeling unnatural for you to hold yourself back, and don't think about it too much in terms of paces, 5.30 and five minutes, but think about it, what effort level, what heart rate am I putting in for that pace? And then you can start to look at it, okay, that's 130 beats per, per minute in order for me to do 5.30 per kilometer. What can I push that up to as my body becomes more efficient at moving over the ground at that effort level? And then you start to see, okay, 5.20 per kilometer, 5.15, 5.10 per kilometer. And before long, once you put enough of those together, then you're able to move over the ground for the same effort level for five minutes per kilometer. And what does that do to the other runs? If you come onto that second run, where you push in a little bit harder, five minutes per kilometer for 70 minutes, again, we wanna become more efficient working at that effort level so we can cover more ground within the 70 minutes. 
So eventually at five minutes is becoming 450, 440 and onwards to the, from there. And then what does it do to your 5K and 10K paces? That's the interesting part. Because if you can already run for 70 minutes, so more than sort of three and a half times your 5K pace right now, and you're only covering that at 25% extra than your 5K pace, what does it mean when you bring that five minutes down to 440, down to 430 for the same effort level that you're currently putting for that 70 minute run at five minute pace? What does that mean for your 10K pace and your 5K pace? So overall, what we're trying to do is those are three great runs to be doing. Building volume, doing intervals at your 5K pace. So maybe 20 minutes of hard work, working at four minutes per kilometer and gradually pushing that forward, 355, 350 per kilometer as the months pass. Working at that 70 minute sort of threshold run or a little bit more than that, but working on maybe covering more distance or going faster within that 70 minutes. And then for the long, slow distance, working and becoming efficient, more efficient and moving over the ground at that pace which you currently feel you have to hold yourself back for. It's exactly how you want to feel for that run. And it's, a great, it's great that you found that without kind of looking at the textbook and saying, oh, okay, long, slow distance should feel like I'm having to hold myself back. It's exactly how you should feel. And so what eventually will happen is all of a sudden that 5.30 pace will become 5.20, 5.15 pace and onwards from there. And then you can cover more ground, which is gonna feed nicely into your 10K time and your 5K time if you're doing the top end stuff as well. So think of it like a triangle. For the 90 minute run, you're building the base of the triangle and for that 70 minute run as well. 70 minute run for you is probably mostly in zone two, pushing into zone three. So you're nicely pushing your effort levels and your zones up as you're doing those two runs, but that's building the base of the triangle. As you're doing more work at that 5K pace and even faster, so you're pushing yourself at becoming a faster 5K runner, you're building the height of the triangle, and that's building the overall surface area. That's all distance running is.